Hey everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, my camera is running a bit low here, so we will have to probably stay within the, t the 10 minute mark. Anywho, uh, we're back here with our desk. Um, and a couple things that I noticed was we never added bevels on anything, and then um, this area here is also, um, there, there's a, a piece back here in the back, and then there's some rounded edges. So let's get going. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is tab into edit mode on my drawer here and hit control R, add in two edge loops, and then S and X for um, scaling, but I need to turn off, um, I need to turn that off there. And I'm going to put those uh, about there. Um, and what that's going to allow me to do is that's going to allow me to be uh, bevel this. So select both edges and hit Control B. And as you can see, it adds a nice bevel. And I'm going to add three three segments. I'm just going to move this to another layer so I can see it better. Um, and then let's go ahead and grab all of these faces. use our knife tool. Let's cut from here all the way across to here and then up because as we know if cleanliness is next to godliness then I don't know what good topology is but it's worth the work for sure down the line. So let's just add in some uh, edge loops here. no triangles or at least as much as we can avoid them alright and then the last thing we're going to do is, is uh, select all of the outside edges and that's going to be a little harder because uh, we added in all these and this underside as well and then hit control B let's just see if we pull that in oh hey look it did a pretty good job kudos blender I don't really like what it did on the top there but hey beggars can't be choosers I uh, select everything and hit recalculate and just smooth um, and then one last thing is we'll just go ahead and pull, put a, an edge loop there to stop that face from acting funky. Oh, hang on. Yeah, see, let's go ahead and Blender didn't do such a good job after all. So we can just add an edge loop so we can scale it out like that. Let's not worry about the here, just to take care of this, we can add in two edge loops here and scale those in the Y. And one edge loop here in the bottom of that. that. Let's select all of our drawers and let's try and use a bevel modifier and see what happens. Uh, let's do the width as 0 0.02. 0 0.002. Ah, much better. Alright, maybe I'll just start doing that from now on. Select this, modifier, and bevel. Uh, we're saying 0 0.002 and segments of 3. OK. 
Okay. Um, now, last but not least, let me select these and move them to another layer. And let's select the drawers and move them to another layer. Select the drawers and hit apply to that uh, sol or the solidify modifier. And then um, let's select both the drawers and the insides and hit control J. Um, and now, just to add a little more character when we finally end up rendering this, is I'm going to tab into edit mode and go to face mode here. And I'm just going to select to hit control and plus, and I'm going to pull these out. Um, kind of like that. Now if I move this back, you can see, and this we can pull that a little bit like that as well. Alright, now let's uh, set up some UVs. So um, there's a couple different ways we can do this. We can, uh, while I'm here. just grab a texture real quick. Um, see how we're doing on time. I can't see my, my screen. 655. Alright, we're doing good. While that's loading, um, let's throw some UVs down. I'm just going to select everything. Hit A twice and hit Control and J. Ooh. Oh, that's right. Uh, let's apply this. Are there any modifiers? This bevel, let's apply the bevel. That bevel, let's apply it. All right, A and then Control J. And as you can see, this is our model now. Um, I'm just going to select everything and go to Unwrap, Smart UV Project. Let's add a little margin between everything and click OK. Now, why did we do this? Um, because if you come here to the UV Image Editor, you can see this is our entire, this is our entire um, thing. Now, I don't know why. I'm just finding a simple wood texture here. Um, I'm going to change my blender render into cycles. Let's go ahead and set up while well, I'm waiting for the texture. Let's go ahead and set up node editor. And oh, where's my properties? There you go. Come over here and go uh, new material and we're going to say desk um, wood and now here I can grab this node uh, I'm going to hit shift A and bring in a glossy um, for this diffuse I'm going to hit control T oh I don't have it enabled user preferences Node Wrangler, and let's say save user settings. Now I can hit Control T, and that brings in all of those nodes. Um, okay. All right, I've almost got. Here we go found a texture. Let me just save that to my textures directory and we will go okay so I can open here go to work tutorials textures wood laminate texture and I'm just going to change my viewport to material. 
And as you can see, got a pretty good looking wood laminate material going on. Um, I'm gonna change this to my UV image window. Go into edit mode, select everything. Select everything. I have to select it in my 3D viewport to see it in my UV image editor. Um, and then I'm just gonna scale it. Now, depending on who you talk to, this is not a good way to do things. Um, I don't know, you can see there's some issues there, but that's okay. Uh, I'm also gonna, I want the top of the desk. You can see these lines are, um, I guess, vertical. But I'm just gonna hit R and 90, because I want them to be horizontal. Okay. Now back in our node editor, shift A, search, we need a mix shader. And plug both of these in. Turn my roughness up to 0.5. And the mixing part, if it's at zero, it's only this diffuse shader, it's only the top. And if it's at one, it's only the glossy shader. So I'm gonna put this down to like 0.1. Because I want there to be a little bit of specular, but nothing too great. Um, and then, last but not least, let's just create little handles. Um, so let's go and hit Shift A, and let's grab a cube. Hit one, five, and I'm just going to hit Control and the up arrow, and that's going to bring me here. To a full full view of my 3D view, and I'm just going to place my cube right here, at the center of my drawer. And I'm going to scale it in the X, um, and now I'm going to grab this front face and pull that out, and then Control R. I'm going to add in two edge loops. S and Y and scale those like this, and then Control R, add in another edge loop, and S and Z, and I'm going to scale it down. That's kind of what my handles look like on this desk. Now back, uh, I'm going to hit Control Up. Ooh, that's cool. Learn something new every day. Um, I'm going to add a new shader for this, and uh, I'm going to just make it a dark gray. And then Shift A, search, mix, grab a mix shader, and Shift A, search, and glossy. And I'm just going to leave all of those defaults, because that's these are metal, so they're pretty shiny. Um, and I'm just going to say that's uh, metal. Okay, and then Shift D, Enter, and I'm just going to move this over to each of these drawers, and I'm just going to put the handle in the middle. Okay, um, let's just do a quick render and see what we've got. Let's add in a plane, so we need a ground. Put that plane down at the bottom of our object. Okay, um, and then last but not least, ship C. Let's add a lamp an area lamp. Let's change the size to 5. And now let's scale it up. And let's 
rotate it in the X. Pull it back. Um, and now we can go to rendered and change the strength to something like 5,000. adding zeros till you see some effect. There you go. Oh, and last but not least, let's add in um, an HDRI. I think I had an HDRI here for the test shot. Just to kind of help things out. Uh, this may really be slowing down my video, so if that is the case, I apologize. Doing this render. Right. So that you know looks like a desk. Um, I put all my models on Sketchfab and. Um, oh, let me turn this off. Put all my models on Sketchfab, and if they're Blender models, I put them on um, on other like a Blend Swap or, or things like that. So if you want to go download it, you're welcome to. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope that this uh, this tutorial was helpful for you. I know for me, the tutorials that uh, allowed me to just kind of follow along and I ended up with something at the end were helpful, but if that's not helpful for you, let me know in the comments down below, let me know if you need anything, um, or if you want to request a tutorial or something, just uh, please write that in the comments down below. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you again next time. Bye.